The first stage is to mark out the dimensions on the wall. The height needs to be 2.1 meters from the floor and ideally this is of course a two-man job. The next stage is to mark out where the brackets go and then of course drill the holes. Here we're using a 5.5 millimeter drill bit and it goes without saying, mind your fingers. Once the brackets are screwed to the wall, firmly of course, it's time to bring in the track, lay it on the floor and just make sure everything is in the right position. The next part's important. The threaded stud that takes the vertical support must be slid into place at this point. If you're installing more than one track coupled up together, now is the time to slide in the connecting plate. When it comes to mounting the rail on the wall, a temporary prop, the exact height of the brackets, is very useful to support the rail while the two men connect the rail to the brackets at either end. The fixing screws need to be firmly tightened at this point and then a quick visual inspection to make sure that the thing is level before the vertical support is measured and installed. A plumb line is used to identify the exact spot on the ceiling where the drilling will take place. If you're working on a suspended ceiling such as we are here, make sure that the drill goes into the plywood backing pad. It has to be something solid because it needs to take the threaded retainer for the vertical support. And now it's time to fix the outer sleeve. Simply screw it on. The vertical support rod is supplied to be cut to size. Only one end is threaded. The trick is to make sure you do not cut off the end with the thread in it. For marking purposes, put the threaded end in the top to make sure the height is perfect and then mark it for cutting. This is where it all comes together. Turn the rod over, thread the threaded portion onto the stud, the top end is in the sleeve and then tighten it up with the two pinch screws. It's easy. To complete the installation, now it's time to slide in the curtain gliders. For multiple installations, a front link is used. Thereafter, the process is exactly the same for each additional cubicle. And with a bit of practice, you could be as fast as our guys. Come on, chaps, show us how it's done. <laughs>